Hello everybody, this is Sherry at djsundry.blogspot.com and today I am going to do a quick project for you using the Zoe paper packet. This is the brand new um, packet from Close to My Heart. It just came out in August and we're featuring it on August and September and I wanted to make a pocket page for my Filofax. And, um, I've heard of other people making pocket pages and stuff and I've made pocket pages for other things but I've never done it for my father facts and I thought this is the perfect paper because it's still summery um, we're getting ready for fall so I'll probably only use it a couple months and then I'll put it away until next spring or fall um, but it's perfect and I'll show you why this is one of the pieces of paper in the collection this is one side and this is the second side and if you notice this up here has um, kind of a calendar on it and so I thought that would be perfect for making my pocket. I'm doing a little bit of embellishment using glacier paper. I'm just going to set that aside because I've already done that and then I'll also be using this brand new um, balloon wishes occasion stamp set. But first to make the pocket. So I'm going to grab my score tool right here, my Martha Stewart scoreboard and the first thing that I'm going to do Looks like we got a little bit of ink on that, but that's okay. So um, we're going to turn it this way because I want to use that strip and I want it to be the right direction for the pocket. So um, let's see. I'm going to turn it this way, just like so. I'm going to grab my little scoring tool and I am going to score all the way across the page right at eight and a half just like that then I'm going to turn it the other direction and I because this is a 12 inch square sheet of paper I am going to score it at six now I say that it's a 12 inch sheet of paper and that a square sheet of paper which is absolutely correct except for the fact that the border strip adds another little bit I were to grab my ruler it looks like it adds another half an inch normally I would take the border strip off and use it for embellishment or something but I want it to be part of my paper so it's just going to give me a deeper pocket so that is we've got our score marks done so again it's at six going one direction and then at the other hand we wanted it eight and a half because that's the size of my a5 file effects okay so now I'm going to turn it this side um, facing together and I'm going to fold it actually I needed to fold it this way to make it work I'm going to grab my phone bone folder and I'm going to do it very tightly now I'm going to open it back up and find my other score mark and I'm going to fold it up like this again giving a nice firm crease. I just, I think it looks smoother and is a little bit less bulky if everything's a nice full crease. Then I'm going to fold it closed again and I'm going to crease it all back down again. Just as tight of folds as I can. Now this is where I'm going to take my ATT, ATG gun and I am going to run a line of adhesive across the bottom and across one of the sides. You might ask why I'm doing that and that is because this um, pocket divider will actually have three pockets on it by the time we're all said and done. So we've got our adhesive there and I am just pressing that down. Now if I was um, planning on this being in my Filofax for months and months at a time, I would probably um, go ahead and um, use something like score tape, but since I'm not, um, I don't, I think it'll be strong enough with my ATG. Now you'll notice I kind of made a little mistake here. I meant to put, um, to hold this side down as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a smaller one that I can get in a little bit tighter and I'm just going to run oh, whoops, a line of adhesive 
up the side like that. The other thing is because I'm going to be punching holes in it, um, it will also be held closed there as well on my adhesive. All right, so there we go. And we're almost done with the construction of the pocket. Now I have my paper punch here and I just kind of eyeball. I'm going to turn it this way so I can kind of make sure that my holes are in the middle. I already had it set up to meet my A5 rings. And I'm just going to punch it down. And now that is just about ready for the file effects. So now let's do some embellishing. So I'm going to set the pocket aside while we do some stamping. So um, again, I'm using the balloon wishes. So we're going to pull this out. And uh, the balloon wishes coordinates with the artiste cartridge. And this little, kind of like a book plate, um, fits with that cartridge um, and that is cut at one and a half, one inches from the cartridge and then I've already got my stamp set up and that should fit right over the top just like that because it's all designed to coordinate now I did some ink tests and um, in playing with the ink I decided that the ink that I liked the best for this particular project was the slate ink I also tried um, sorbet and black and they both looked fine, but for me, for this particular project, I decided I wanted my slate. So we're just going to line that up and put it over the top, stamp it down, and we're good to go. So let's just wipe off that stamp. And then the word I'm going to use in there is celebrate, just because life is good and if you're alive there should be something to celebrate so let's put that down just like so so that is all done let's put our ink away now the next thing that I wanted to do is I did want to have a really strong seal to my pocket since I will be putting things in and out of the pocket so rather than using ATG or another kind of adhesive I decided to turn my embellishments into stickers just so that I can get a smooth flat seal and it'll be it'll still wear out eventually but it will um, be a little bit more sturdy than um, a partial ATG seal so pull off this extra um, I've had my Xyron sticker makers for a very very long time probably that one that I just used probably eight to ten years and it still just keeps doing its job so then the the next embellishment that I wanted to add was this coral shimmer tape this is a new color this year from close to my heart um, in the brand new holiday inspire or in in the regular catalog um, it also came out in September as kind of a sneak peek and I decided what I wanted to do is I wanted to line it up under the border just to give it a little bit of sparkle and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of extra so that I have a little bit of extra give I'm going to go all the way around rather than cutting it off we're going to just go right around the corner just like that so this I think is the most challenging part of pretty much any kind of shimmer tape or glitter tape or whatever kind of tape you have is separating the plastic backing and I've tried different ways of doing it and some days they work really great for me and some days they do not probably if I had any length to my fingernails it might help but it might not Now I'm not going to pull that all the way off because I don't want it to stick to something that I don't want it to and again I'm going to overhang just a little bit and then just line it up and once that I am sure it is straight then I'll kind of smooth it out Then we'll turn it over on the side continue removing our backing now going around that edge I want to be really sure that I've got a tight crease there and I'll even go back over it with my bone folder in a minute and then I will continue I'll pull off the rest of my tape and put it down 
just like that. Now I'm going to put that adhesive tape kind of over, or the, the backing over the top, so that when I am going over it with my bone folder, I don't rub off, because I'm rubbing pretty hard. I don't want to rub off my glitter. I don't know if you would, but I don't want to take the chance. So we've got that down, and then we're just going to trim the edges off of that tape, just like so. And then, now I have two different things. Um, one of this was a quote that I had on a video for work today, and I thought this was kind of going to be put together with some other things to kind of be my motto for the month of September. And the quote says, be kind for everyone you meet is fighting a battle you know nothing about. And then I paired that up with a Bible verse, Ephesians 4.32, that says, and be kind one to another tender-hearted forgiving one another even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you and I just thought that those two ideas went together very well so then I wanted to add you'll notice I'm not adding hardly any bulk to this whole thing um, because for one thing you'll see when I put it in my Filofax and my Filofax is stuffed really full right now and um, so any extra bulk is definitely not needed in here and then the next one, I cut a second small one, just the same size, it's at one inches, and it is um, the same as this one that we stamped on. And this one is from Cinderella, because I like Cinderella, and it says, have courage and be kind. So if you've seen the new Cinderella, you know that that is a motto that she tried to live by, that her mother told her. So this is going to be the front side of the page, and then on the back side of the page, that's where we are going to put our celebrate, and I had decided I wanted to kind of put that towards the inside edge. So now, as you can see, we've got a pocket here, a pocket here, and then a large pocket in the top in case there was something I needed to add. And there I have a super simple project. So. Let's open up the Filofax, and I think I want it, it doesn't really match my French country and um, different dividers I have right now, but that's okay, I just wanted something fun, and I think I am going to sneak it behind um, October in here, let's just pop that open so that it's right near September and you can see I've got my September all decorated and ready to go or as much decorating as I'm going to do on it probably for now and now we have this beautiful pocket that fits right in and I can put anything that I want in it so there we have a super simple pro project using the Clo or Zoe um, paper pack from close to my heart and um, you can get that by going to my website at www.djsundries.ctmh.com. So thanks so much for stopping by today. And remember, take some time to enjoy the little things. Have a good day. Bye.